Hey guys, okay, in this video, I am going to give a tip for like how to create a report using PPT. By using PPT, we can create a very good report, very good report in Power BI. Okay, let me take some sample data here. Okay, let me take some sample data. So that is in my D drive for practice files. And see, and financial report. So financial file is there, financial sample. So I'm going to connect that one. And load here. Okay, now what I will do, so it will load here. Then we'll go to the, we'll open a PPT. And then I'm creating a title here. And also I'm taking a shape here. Okay, so let's take the shape. So this is for the slicers. Okay, this is for the slicer and uh, so you can move it up and also you can drag like this so this is for the slices and then next you can go with the cards okay so you may have a cards here okay so one card so the same cards you can have here. okay so if you want a little bit you know big one so you can have that one so one, so paste it here and again, copy paste it here. Okay, so again, you can take a copy and then paste it here. So now you can have some spaces between these cards. Okay, so one, one, two, three, just uh, we'll have spaces here and just, two. okay. So now from here, one, two, so you can have one, two, can have okay so now all are equal distributed okay those will for the four cards and then next uh, you can have a visuals here okay so this is for the first visual so how many visuals you want uh, so per page so if you want that many pages we can have here so for now i am going to go with the uh, four pages actually. so four visuals actually so let's take this uh, and then so let's take a copy and then so drag this one here okay so again so you can take uh, control select and then you can take a copy and then so you can drag this one here. okay so you can drag this one here so you can just paste it here and then take a copy and then paste it here so I'm arranging the, uh, this one. So gaps, if you want, you know, so this is you know, more you know, extra space means, okay, you can decrease the spaces as well. So you can decrease the spaces as well. So you can, uh, from here also, if you can, if you want, you can you know, decrease the spaces. Okay. So you want only this much space. Okay. You don't, if you don't want much spaces, okay, you can go and then, so drag like this. Okay, so now what I will do, so even if, if you are also, if you want to give only you now this much space, okay, you can drag. Okay, so now we are good. So if you think something, it's no. So you can arrange the, uh, you know, you can arrange these uh, shapes like this. Um, now what we'll do, so we'll apply some colors. Okay. So if you want this color only, you can keep this color or else if you want to know like light gray color, something for the background. So you can, even you can apply kick shapes also, but I don't want that shapes. Okay. So what I will do, so fill the colors with the, you know, light colors. Okay. I'm going with this light colors. Okay. So let's select this color. Yes. Okay. So if you want more things, okay, if you are in very good in PPT, you can go with that and uh, you can, you know, uh, do some more things actually. So, but, uh, so here again, this uh, slicer part, so you can arrange that. So now uh, I'm good to go. So if you want to uh, know more shapes, okay, you can add more uh, shapes. Okay, now you, what you can do, control A and then save this as a picture case, okay? Save this as a picture. 
so now I will save this in desktop. Okay, picture one one. Okay, I'm going with the picture one one, and then save that. What I will do next? I will go to uh, so here uh, this uh, you know, formatting page formatting and go to the background. So, and then, so the thing is like, so whatever the page settings, okay, by default, uh, the page size, okay, if the page size is 16.16, right? Even PPT or uh, page size also, you will have the same size, but whenever you increase, even you, you have to increase your PPT size also, okay? So PPT page size also, you have to increase. Now, what I will do, I will browse that. So this, uh, not desktop. So you can go to the desktop and uh, picture one, one, right? So we have saved as a picture one, one. And then, then you have to go with the fit, okay? And then decrease the transparency. So, so we can even, if you want to decrease the transparency, you can decrease the transparency. Now what, now what I can do, I will add some visuals, okay? I will add some visuals, okay? okay let's go with the here and then, so country by sales, okay? You can add country by sales one visual. And then fit that visual here. Okay, so let's go with the uh, you know, bar chart, or else, so you can go with the pie chart. So you can go with the pie chart, and then we can add this visual is here. So within a uh, you know, short period of time, we can create a very good report base. Okay, so this is uh, you no know, sales by country, and if you want to you know go with the you no know, date wise. Uh, sales are trending if you want to see so you can go and then see the trending and the line chart so select the line chart here and then you can go somewhere. okay so you can arrange like this again okay? even uh, if you want to so you can The line if so just see whether the line is visible or not okay just drag like that or else you can go and increase the width in the general tab okay increase the width in the general tab suppose so if it is not visible okay something it is touching here okay now so you can select this visual and uh, so you can go in format and go to the property and width now, so you can decrease the width. So, so now it is fitted. Okay, so now what we can do, so we can go and then uh, product by sales in the bar chart. Okay, so you can go and then select the bar chart. So now, now you can drag here. Select the bar chart here, and then if you want, okay, so more precise size and all, so you can go to uh, you know this uh, property and uh, increase height, width. So width, uh, so width, I think width is enough. But uh, if you want to increase the height, you can go and then increase the height. Okay, so let's drag this one. So let's switch. So now uh, I have fitted the sales by uh, no, product also. So here you can go with the uh, country by uh, no, profit. That is in, if you want the funnel chart, you can go with the funnel chart. So country by not product, profit, sorry, yes. so profit. Okay, if you want to go with that country by profit, you can go and then so here i'm just giving an idea like by using a ppt you can create a very good report so that's what i am trying to you know give an idea guys okay so like that you can give and then no need to wait for the too much uh, formatting purpose okay so just uh, uh, total profit you can select uh, so that will be in a card and then so you can fit it here something okay so you can uh, drag so like this 
Okay, so just you can run check. Just you can print this, and then you can decrease the font size. So this one. So let's go and then change it to a twenty-five something. Okay, twenty-five. So now uh, it has fitted perfectly. So you can take a copy and then paste it here. So let's drag this one here. So there we will select the sales. Okay, and then copy and paste. Okay, so you can go and then paste. So now you can drag this one. Okay. So now what we'll do? We just one minute. Yeah. So you can use arrows to you know click that. Okay. So now here I will select the sales amount. Just remove this one. And then select the sales amount. Okay, so now here I will select the unit sold. So let's remove this one. Select the unit sold, and here I will select the instead of profit I will select the uh, price. Okay, so this way we can select and then we can arrange. Okay, we can arrange proper. Okay. So here, this is for the slicer purpose. Okay, if you want, you know, country as a slicer. So let's select that uh, as a slicer. Okay, you can go and then so you can arrange the slicers here. Let me you know just drag it like this. So drag it like this. Drag it like this. And also, you can even you can uh, give some you know, um, colors and also, but I'm not doing that. Just simply, okay, by using PPT, how we can you know go with the uh, you know, slicers and all. So this I am going with the product slicer. So you can keep a product slicer here. Just um, this one, okay. So now you can select here as a slicer. So do that. So let's have a list. See guys, how this looks now. Okay, so this way we can create a very good report within a short period of time, right? Okay, so when we have a you know, PPT, so if you are having good you know uh, skills on PPT, so you can have you can create a very good report uh, within a short period of time. Okay, so like so, no need to spend much time on uh, creating some formats and all. Okay, so hope you understand this one, guys. Okay, you can use the PPT. Uh, you can create your shapes. Okay, like uh, so the way how you want to display and all so you can create a shapes and then you can uh, create a report so hope you like the video uh, please uh, share and subscribe my channel okay thank you